more core to endure. So when we think about the core, we think often about the abs only. But it's important to note that when we think about the core, it's actually the entire torso in a 360 degree range of motion. So you got a front pack, you got a back pack, you got two side packs. And we also want to think about from the bottom of the shoulders to the bottom of the hip area. So yes, there is a lot of overlap with some of the other major muscle groups that we have, pushing, pulling, hinging, squatting, etc. But the good thing about that is the more that we get things active and fired, the better the result is going to be. We talked last week about the core being a force transducer, not a force producer. So we create tightness and rigidity here to resist motion. We resist motion to keep our spine straight. Single leg pickup. So what we're going to do here is stand on one leg and we're going to have an item on the floor. This item does not need to be heavy. It's just something that we can bend over and pick up. What we're going to do next is a combination of a, a deadlift and a squat motion. Bro, move, move, bro. <laughs> Roki, you, you have to go. Bye, Rose. <laughs> so I'm going to hinge and I'm going to bend my knee to get down to pick up this item, stand back up, and return the item back to the ground. Let go. That's one rep. I'm going to perform 10 of these repetitions on one leg and I'm going to perform 10 on the other side. Important things to think about here as we bend over, we're not allowing any of that movement to come through our spine. So wherever our hip can take us, that's awesome. When we run out of room, we've got to bend the knee to get down there. This is going to help us in real life when we got to pick things up off the floor without leaning into our spine area. Plank with a pull through. So we're gonna get into a tall plank position from our hands. Think about pulling our hands towards our toes, toes towards our hands. We got lots of tightness through here. I'm gonna place an object underneath my body. It could be a weight, it could be a household item, um, a, a bottle of juice or something, uh, containers of bottles of water. And you're going to reach across pulling the object or the weight side to side, this pull over. Now the important thing to note during this pullover is how much stability I am asking my shoulder and my hips to do. So as I pull, I'm not rotating my whole body to get this weight over. I'm still trying to keep my shoulders and my hips square, pushed down towards the floor. Push your upper back into the floor. Push your bottom of your fists into the floor. Push your lower back into the floor. Push your heels into the floor. Point your toes to the ceiling. Once you've made contact with all of those areas, you are then going to think about lifting the body through the heels and the upper back. Now this drill is not about how high you can get. You actually might not even get your butt off the ground. That's okay. As long as the intent is there to push the body up, you should feel the back side of the legs really light up. Once you've established this position, we're going to assume the march. One leg comes up. That's one rep. Return. Two, return. Three, return, and so on. Ensuring that we're not wiggling side to side through the hips as we have one leg uh, come up and down. We're going to get into a half plank position with your toes on something slippery. You can use socks on a slippery surface at home, like tiles or wood, or you can use a towel. You're gonna squeeze your butt cheeks so you've got lots of tension through the abs, and you're gonna only start to move through the elbows. So I'm pushing myself far away, and then I'm pulling myself closer. So you'll notice my knees don't bend, my shoulders don't move in crazy positions. It's mostly just that elbow that's causing movement through the midsection. I'm only pushing away as far as I can still keep tension through here. If I start to move through the lower back or I feel pain, we're gonna shorten that range up a little bit. Again, thinking about working the hip in a 360 degree range of motion, because the hips are very important for a strong core, we're gonna do a crossover lunge. So regular lunge, we're forward and backwards. With this one, we're actually gonna bring that moving leg across the midline of the body, okay? Midline. Now the back leg here, it's very light. I don't have much weight on it. All of my weight is on this front leg. 
important thing is that we don't want to just rotate the whole torso sideways to get our leg there because pretty much now just doing a regular lunge I'm just facing a different direction so face forward put your little pointers on your hips bring that back leg behind you and past the midline drop the back knee down towards the floor press the front heel into the ground and pop back up down and back up my little pointers tell me that I'm in the right direction if I notice that I start to go over here I can be more mindful about bringing my pointers back in front again dolphin tail plank I'll be combining a hard plank with a pike position so I'm gonna get into my hard plank position I'm gonna push my butt into the air and I'm gonna return that's one rep push my butt into the air, return, that's two reps. If your feet are on a very slippery surface, caution, you might fly over the place. So you can also back your feet up against a wall so that you've got an end point that's gonna prevent you from going far back. Back onto our back, working the back side of our body, which is also very important for core strength and stability. Push my upper back into the ground, push my elbows and my hands into the floor, push my heels into the floor, push my lower back in. Now I'm gonna lift my butt cheeks up off the ground. So I'm in this long tabletop position. I'm gonna take one leg, bring it up towards my chest in that march, back down and switch. Try really, really hard not to rotate through my hips as I move and transition from my left to my right. Combining a plank and a jumping jack, get into your hard plank position, legs go out, legs go in, legs go out, legs go in, out, in, out, in. If you find this one's a little bit hard uh, to execute well, tap 